Hi and welcome to another training video brought to you by Cora Group. In, the, in this video we will talk to you about Point Manager in Trimble Access. So if you go into Menu and in there there's always a favor key number two for Point Manager. So if you select Point Manager also you can go into Job Data and pick Point Manager there also. Okay so on your main screen so even on your favorites it's you can uh, set it up as the number two key project manager if you don't have that or you change any of your keys you can go into job data and point manager in here this will display all your points within the job so these are just uh, no points that were created from a CAD draw but in here you'll have all your survey points your easting your ordering your elevation your codes your display so you can go into your display you can see just the codes display yeah just target height so if you went in there you see that there was a two meter target height and uh, so if i select on that it'll actually if i made a mistake in a target height i can change it or else i can click on one hold the up shift click on them all click on edit and that'll give me the ability to give them a code to check the notes or change the target so i had a problem uh, with my pole it was actually had it set at two meters but it was actually 1.8 and you can enter that and accept there and you see that it was modified now and it was modified with a time and stamp saying old antenna value was two and I updated it to 1.8 okay so if you escape out of that so hit enter there escape you can see the symbols here indicate that there was a base station you can see the x y and z values here if you put the play arrow uh, you can see that there's a point staked out here uh, it gives you x y and z it gives you your antenna height what uh, receiver you're using and the quality control you're using precision values and any tilt so i had uh, no tilt in the, um, the imu and the r12i was uh, dis uh, disengaged and i set up over the point and set up over the point okay uh, you can actually go in here as well and go out of that go back into menu uh, job data point manager and you see that the points are all there again so you can go display grid and then all my points are back again if you knew uh, a code um, that you keyed in but and you're trying to find it instead of sliding down through them all you can create a filter so you can say filter point name I don't know but maybe the code was T N Z and then hit enter accept and then see was there any codes so there was no code there so it must have been a name so T N Z was the name maybe hit enter accept and see was there any points in there so I'll filter your points so reset escape and then display grid points filter reset and then accept and all the points will come back okay so you can check for any codes you'll see there all the the codes and stuff in there so if i went in there we'll say copy this code escape that and said filter and i knew it was the code so i can go control v hit start accept now there's the code name x y and z so i can get the details straight away of that okay so you can key in whatever you want if you go back into your filter then and go reset also in the code you can hit the play arrow and actually search from your library so if there's any things that were surveyed you knew that the we we'll say the bank bottom they're all surveyed with the wrong uh, pole height you can click on the bb it'll filter all the bbs from there you can edit maybe the pole height then and change it okay so reset that accept it and then all my points are back and off so if i go into target height maybe pick this one edit that so it lets you edit the points that were surveyed so previously i was trying to edit points in the cad drawn so you can't do that so you can actually go in and edit your survey points here so your code your coordinates notes point names and targets so if i went into coordinates observations cannot be edited also notes i've already put in a note for change the height so i'll just enter that 
go in and edit point name i can change that if i want and i can also go and edit target height as well and then options for my delete points so that's your quick run down through point manager uh, you know it's up here in point manager also it's the star so i'll go into your favorites if you unselect that it'll go out of your favorites and you'd be going into your menu or your hamburger down to your job data into point manager okay thank you